But I need, like, here's the thing. I had my newsletter, like, yeah, I'll fit. Would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we... Okay, I just got off my Monday morning meeting. Really quickly, I just wanted to say thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this portion of today's vlog. So essentially, Surfshark is a VPN, which is a virtual private network. It allows you to create a secure connection to another network over the internet. This is great because it protects your online identity. It can also block ads, trackers, and malware. As you guys know, public Wi-Fi is a goldmine for hackers. So with Surfshark, you're actually able to stay safe on public Wi-Fi. Really cool. You can also use it so you can access content as if you were in a different country. So you can just change your location. You can have access to a bunch of different streaming services. That's 15 different Netflix libraries. You can bypass censorship everywhere. Surfshark liberates your internet by unblocking blocked websites and bypassing geo restriction. They also offer one account to use on an unlimited number of devices. You guys can get 83% off plus three months free with code Kenzie. Again, that's 83% off with three months free with code Kenzie. I will have it linked below. Okay, I'm gonna go work out in the gym. I'm doing a daylight Zoom workout. Not gonna vlog, you guys know the drill. I know I have shown this set like so many times or just set active in general. But I just wanna say my favorite things to work out in, especially for like a Pilates workout or 12, 3.30. All right, I'm out of the shower, I worked out. My hair is like really crazy, but I do this so it will fall throughout the day. So like, don't mind that. Listen, everyone, listen up. I know I've talked about this before. My new favorite face combo, I'm actually doing makeup because mom and I are filming today. I like the Rare Beauty Face Primer. It just is so good. And then, this is what I've been doing, and this is like my holy grail face product. It's the Sephora Collection Best Skin Ever Foundation. This stuff is $20. I'm in a shade 23Y. I wanna get like five more shades because I'm always self-tanning, so everything's like always off, honestly. I do one pump on the back of my hand. I use this brush, which is a Sephora 64 brush. I honestly picked it up randomly at Sephora because they didn't have the other brush and it turns out this is like a crown fave and I love it. And then I just do one pump and my skin looks like so bomb. I cannot describe to you how this is legit the best foundation ever. I just wanted to give you guys another update because I've been using it, I've been loving it. It's just, I don't know, I really love all the face products that I've been using lately. I might film a get ready with me soon. Also guys, I haven't talked about this in so long, but I do have a secret Facebook group. I don't know why I always call it secret. A Facebook group that is very fun and very active if you guys want to join. I know that Facebook is like out, but Facebook groups are in, okay? I'm gonna finish doing the rest of my makeup. I don't want to do this right now, but I know I'm not gonna want to do it later and just having it done and out of the way will be nice. I've been on the biggest like Taylor Swift and Luke Combs kit, like not the same, but for some reason, that's like legit all I've been listening to. Guys, what a beautiful, a beautiful thing to come downstairs to. Everything toast. It's really good. If you actually go to Lala, get avocado toast with cream cheese, but this is how you have to order on apps. And then my strawberry fields. It feels, okay, first off, my hair is supposed to fall and it hasn't yet. It still looks cute though. Thanks, but it's just like a little bit much, um, you know? Okay, well, I did a lot of prep for the Daryl episode. I think tonight I'm gonna have to watch Doc and Daryl. Again, it's an ESPN 30 for 30. We're actually about to film our video where we do, uh, what did you Buffalo say? Buffalo chicken dips and marks. And right? marks. Dips and drinks. Or it's a special occasion because it's spring break. Right, um, right. That's why we're doing the very special meal. It's very special meal, Super if you will. Yes, yeah, it's yeah. very good for you. <laughs> great for your little spring break bod. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. I, I will vlog at some point, I'm sure, because I, they, I thought I was gonna get a full day vlog out today. Not really quite sure about that one. You just said oh. a full day worth of vlog? Yeah, now we're, how would I do that? Well, I mean, today we have a lot going on, so maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe. Well, oh, I'm wearing this outfit that I've almost gotten rid of like 15 times, and I'm glad I did it. It's so it cute. feels so good outside. It's her Princess Polly. Of course, I'm wearing my same shoes. There is just something going on with this ankle, Molly. I'm telling you, it's not looking too good. Also, look at my bruise. 
Yeah, I saw that. What happened? I don't know. Molly and I are queen of bruising. Literally. Queens I of bruise. bruising. Queens of bruising. <laughs> yeah, we will like touch this. Guys, this will go like this. Bruce. bruise. Biggest, <laughs> biggest bruise you've ever seen. Biggest bruise. It's a knot on your leg. My mom's the same way. It's very painful. But anyways, we're off. Okay. Okay. Yesterday at CB2, I was looking for a new couch. And look at how cute these are. We found them. They also have matching um, pillows. So when I replace my couch, that's what I'm going to do. But they're going to look so cute here. Love that. Also, we just got flowers. So I'm going to make... Beautiful bouquet, everyone. Happy Tuesday. I almost said Thursday. I have a big recording this morning with Daryl Strawberry. We just post made it and stuff. Molly's upstairs. I got exactly what she got. An iced honey oat milk latte from Starbucks. Crazy they have oat milk. And then I just love their bacon egg bites. That's what I was wanting to get anyways. Oh my gosh. Guys, I'm like so stressed out because if this noise keeps happening during the recording, like what do I do? This is just not okay. I literally want to cry. I'm back. Comment below if you guys want a favorites video. I think I'm actually gonna have like a big filming day soon because there's quite a few videos that I need to get filmed. And I feel like I have a lot of good favorites videos. I really wanna wash my face and shower. Um, I can't do that yet, so we're gonna do that soon. Anyways, I wanted, oh, by the way, the recording went great. I ended up stopping vlogging because I had to go to my dad's to record there because the construction was so loud and bad here. Then we went to Chili's for lunch, Tuesday Chili's. It's the new tradition, but I have a package from the Inky List, which I love. You guys have, actually, you already know this. I said this in a vlog. The hyaluronic acid is the best stuff literally ever. It is so good. I'm obsessed with it. So I've been loving that. But they sent over even more products. They're also a podcast sponsor. If you guys haven't listened to the podcast, listen. Guys, I have all this stuff. I'm very excited. This is the caffeine eye cream. These Some of these products are new to me as well. Caffeine eye cream. They're also so inexpensive. The hyaluronic acid is $7.99. This stuff is like so cheap. Oh, I got another one. Good. I'm gonna use this. This is the fulvic acid. Oh, get it, yes. Okay, so this is the fulvic acid brightening cleaner. Very excited. Cleaner. Cleanser. Guys, I've been so out of it today. Like, it took me two hours to fully get ready and prep and like focus on this podcast. Um, also, I am like so close. On Friday, this week, it'll be its own vlog. Uh, my mom and I are going to Ikea to design my closet and Hopefully I buy it on Friday. I think we're gonna see still, but I'm just really excited because then I'll be able to like declutter my house and the clutter just gives me so much anxiety. If you guys have anxiety, um, I know not everyone's anxiety functions this way, but like clutter, like even that on the background right there really bothers me, I can't deal. This is the Simbrite Moisturizer, bomb. I'm gonna do a, try out these products in this vlog, but this is the vitamin C. Love this. I'm literally so excited. I couldn't be more of a fan of the Inky List. Also, like my entire family, all the girls are on the Inky List, so I feel cool that I'm right here with that. I told you I was gonna try out some of the Inky List products on camera, so that's what we're doing today. It's Wednesday morning, it's Molly's last day in Texas. We are honestly just getting work done. Nothing too exciting, so I'm gonna film like a little Q&A and show you guys the skincare. This is my favorite product. I already have one right here, and this is probably like my fourth one that I've had. So I'm gonna start off with this one. I love starting off my skincare routine with hyaluronic acid. I've always loved skincare, and I just think in the past year specifically, honestly, since we got to Texas, my skin has gotten so much better. And I think it's the humidity. Also, this shirt is bothering me. I'm sorry. Okay. I think it's the humidity, honestly. Um, also, I'm sure the air the air quality is like so much better here anyways. I think, I'm assuming. Okay, caffeine eye cream. I don't really have puffy under eyes, but I want to try it anyways. I think this is a little bit out of order, I'm sure, but it's fine. I will link all this below, but guys, like, it is just the best i cannot believe how inexpensive their products are and i love them next we have a vitamin c which i'm really really excited for vitamin c and hyaluronic acid are my two non-negotiables when it comes to skincare they make the biggest difference they brighten my face they give me that really good like bouncy glowy skin look so if that's what you guys are looking to achieve um i talked to people here who own a med spa on my podcast and a whole podcast episode on skincare and that's what they told me and i've been doing it and it's like changed my life Last thing, the Simbrite Moisturizer. I'm excited to try this out as well. I also use Curology like legitimately every day, um, but the Aguilas and Curology are like my two faves. My skin just feels great. I love this. All right, guys, I'm gonna answer some questions. I have my Chick-fil-A coffee throwback to this. I don't actually love these anymore, but 
we ordered breakfast this morning I have just not been in a cooking mood actually we cooked last night it was really fun but I don't know I don't know about you guys but I will either cook for like two months straight not eat at once and then I order DoorDash one time and then it's all downhill from there I don't mind ordering DoorDash for like lunch as much as I do for like dinner because I like cooking and I like you know being at home so I'm going to go back to cooking we've decided last night because it's important also I love cooking long story short that's why I DoorDash Chick-fil-a this morning because I don't have any groceries okay overrated or underrated brown underrated obviously guys my favorite color it's all I wear I say as I'm like not wearing any of it, but I love it, okay? How long do you see yourself living in your current house for? Okay, I could so see this being the townhouse that I live in as I'm like single, but I could also see like whenever I get married, that person moving in here. Um, definitely, I won't have kids until like late 20s, early 30s, so like definitely before then. I don't know, I honestly have no idea. I feel like that's the part about being like 23 and like having so much freedom, like you have no idea what's gonna happen. So I think at least for like probably like two or three more years, um, but it could be like five more years. Who knows? What is your favorite part of your morning? I think probably my workout. I love doing Pilates in the morning, but I also love a nice afternoon workout. I feel like my workout would probably be the answer. How are you so put together in times like this? I'm absolutely not. I think the past few weeks I've been... I don't know, I was so motivated at the beginning of the year, probably until like mid-February, and then the past month, I've just been like, no, I guess maybe till like March. I don't know. I've just kind of been all over the place. Like you can see in vlogs that I'm distracted all the time. And I feel like I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of riding out the waves, you know, who knows? What is dating in Dallas like? I don't really know because I haven't like gone on a bunch of dates with different people. Most situations that I know of are through mutual friends, but I am assuming people like me out and about. I don't know guys. I'm like so bad at this. What is something you're currently working on? Okay. I kind of shared this on Instagram story and I wish that I could articulate this better. I think once I talk to my therapist about this this week, I probably will be able to, but I am just so hard on myself to the point where I almost think that I can like ruin almost like the plans of God that God has for my life for like that level of like dramatic effect guys like I just like way overthink every decision that I make I am really hard on myself it's not that I like beat myself up for it necessarily it's just like I put so much pressure on myself to where everything ends up being a big deal whereas like a normal 23 year old would just be like yeah you know and by normal I mean like a healthier probably individual in that aspect okay uh, for instance like i'm an all or nothing person which i'm now reading about and apparently that's like a trauma response but i don't even know what that would be for so that's another thing maybe not but i'm pretty all or nothing right so so sometimes it can be hard for me to have like a normal relationship with certain things because i am such a like an all-in person i don't mean necessarily like romantic relationships i feel like that's like the first place people's like heads go but like for instance work or um i don't know i guess really work is like the main one and like ideologies of things i don't know i don't feel like i'm like free in the area of like also like freely living in life if that makes any sense i don't feel like this is gonna make any sense to anyone but basically i'm just really hard on myself i put a lot of pressure on myself and right now i'm really trying to combat that i'm trying to like combat that right now i don't really know how else to describe that I'm trying, I am trying to like not think so deep about everything, if that makes any sense. Um, I don't know if that's going to make any sense to anyone. Maybe one person will understand. You guys can give me advice because I just am losing my mind right now. But I'm really trying to have like better relationships with certain things in my life. By the way, none of it is like alcohol or anything like that. It's a lot more of like thought processes, um what i okay really good example as well like i think i had a very narrow view almost of like what i thought my life would be as of the past like year and a half and it's totally different i'm so much happier i'm so much happier with who i'm around who i'm with like it is so much better for me and i totally see how this makes so much more sense for me than like the past stuff however because i envisioned my life in a totally different way i think i'm kind of having a hard time without realizing it thinking like oh this is actually okay not only is it okay but it's good um so yeah i don't know it's just been kind of weird but let me know if any of you guys have ever felt that way because i feel like sometimes i say things on the internet and people actually agree with me or understand maybe not agree that probably wouldn't be there so i got a lot of questions on like you seem to be a lot more private 
blah 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 certain things like that um yes and no i actually feel like i've I'm pretty open on the internet, I would definitely say. I would say I'm pretty open on the internet if it only has to do with me. And at the same time, there are certain things in my life that I care about and like want to protect until I feel like I'm ready to say something, if that makes any sense. And it's also just like not that deep, like I'm 23, I don't know. And I also don't regret sharing past things on the internet either um, because that's like where I was in life and that was just the reality of it. But for the place that I'm in right now and like right this second, I'm kind of happy with what I'm sharing, what I'm not. Um, it is kind of a pain, I will say. I'm figuring out things just like all of you guys are. You know what I mean? And then when you put that on the internet, it's like an added level of like pressure or stress or like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Less freedom? Does that make sense? I much prefer to be like super open and share everything with you guys. But sometimes it's just not the time, you know? Where are you? Oh. Hey girly, you're on the vlog. How are you doing? Truly. So kind. Um, I think I'm actually, I don't know if anyone even cares about this. Truthfully, I think I'm doing better than I have in years. But at the same time, because I'm happier than I've been in a long time, it's like hard because I just expect everything to go wrong. Does that make sense? Um... My relationship with my family has always been really good. Like, we've always been best friends so close. I have so many siblings. We do everything together. Like, literally, my sister and I are best friends. We do things 24-7. Our relationship has never been better. I think my relationship with my entire family has never been better. I also just, like, cannot stress enough, too, just, like, how it is the best. Like, siblings are literally the best thing ever. Like, my siblings are both moving within, like, three minutes of me down the street, and it's gonna be, like, the best thing ever. I'm Maybe I'll do, like, moving vlogs and stuff with them. Who knows? Yeah, I'm really happy in that area. I'm honestly just really happy with, like, my life right now. With that being said, I feel like I've been slacking on YouTube because there's certain things that I, like, don't want to post. We're getting back to it. I want to do a vlog week soon. I have a list of videos that I'm gonna film next week that I'm really excited about. We're working on my closet on Friday, so hopefully that will be just, like, a great 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 amount of content anyways i love you guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to check out surfshark i will link them down below i love you guys and i'll talk to you soon bye well let's talk about that because here's the thing about over delivering you know usually and you're you're one of them honestly you know kenzie it's like we are highly capable women like can get things done but what you're lacking if you're over delivering and over functioning sort of indiscriminately what is lacking is the discernment of who is in your vip section of your life because i want you to think about your vip section as the people who there's mutuality right they they go the extra mile for you too so there should be an expectation that there's mutuality in your friendships and in your love relationships and in some family relationships and maybe not family. It depends on your family and how close you are and whatever, because there's nothing wrong, right, with being, giving things 110%.